All right, here we go. Very excited. Ooh. Ooh. Here we go. Oh. So we've seen a couple of new weapons already, the SR2 and the Org, which we knew were, were both confirmed. The M203 grenade launcher. Looks like a new red dot sight as well. Hey guys. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Whoa, whoa! Betrayal! Here we go. GP25 grenade launcher. New um, tourniquet. Five round revolver, is that the RSH-12? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Okay, lighthouse, going up to the lighthouse. In the lighthouse? That was him. That was Lightkeeper. That is the definition of getting blue balled. Right, let's go back through the trailer. Let's have a look at all the things that we noticed that's new. Here we go. So, new things. Let's have a look. First, uh, first screen. Org. We knew the Org was coming. Okay, I believe this is probably the A1. With the, uh, like, the really long-ass scope on it. Not seeing anything new with regards to clothing. Let's go forward one more time. Well, we're going to go forward a lot more times, so you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Here we go. Right, so, SR2 um, MP. Okay, it's a 9x21 SMG. Those of you that have played Stalker probably fell in love with this weapon. Very, very cool. I recommend going and checking out the uh, 9x21 ammo stats. Okay, go check out the 9x21 ammo stats. This thing is a beast. Um, very, very cool weapon. It's going to be lightweight. It's going to be high fire rate. I think it's like 950 RPM. It's going to be cool. It's going to be very, very cool. Okay. Not seeing anything new. Org again. Oh, let's go back. One sec, just have a look at this guy. He looks... I don't know if that's new trousers, new pants. Not sure. Hard to tell. Uh, didn't look like a new backpack. Uh, this guy's got a GP25 grenade launcher. Okay, that's the Russian 40mm grenade launcher. That fits on the AK platform, which is cool. Uh, oh, there's our mate with the SR2. Uh, can't tell what's going on over here. That looks like the dude with the M203 grenade launcher, which is uh, what fits on the, the, the AR platform, like the, the M4 and stuff like that. Um, basically, you'll see it again in a minute. That is a... Is that the Mossberg, the 590? Doesn't seem to be anything new going on here. Uh, another GP25. Same stuff that we've already seen. I don't recognize the jacket. That could be the top tier bear jacket. Here we go. So we've got an M4. And that's got the M203 grenade launcher there. Okay, he's got the 203, which is the uh, the 40 mil. 
And he's wearing the multi-cam shirt and gloves, which um, are already in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's uh, Nikita with his uh, bat Batman hat. The bat hat. Nice interior spaces. The org. Aha! So this is the SR2, and this has a different sight on it this time. I think this is the sight that comes with the SR2 on Stalker. In the SR2, like, modernization kit. Um, you guys might recognize it from there, but you, it's it's pretty characteristic. It's got this like big big uh, back end on it, um, very similar to the Cobra. So uh, it probably performs very very similarly, I imagine. Ooh, so here we have a new handguard. Okay, this is for the AK platform, and this is a 5.56 magazine. But generally speaking, uh, it's all interchangeable. So we are seeing there an FDE. Handguard rail combo, from what I can tell, probably performs similarly to the. What was that? What was that handguard? Is it? Is it the X12? And it uh, incorporates the top um, top mount on there as well for the sight. So that'll probably be um, that'll probably be quite a high ergonomic handguard. Looks pretty nice, super modern, and I think it's going to look pretty snazzy. <laughs> I think it's just the cat torn. Okay, guys. Yeah. If I just disappear for a sec, you can see the twisty thing there. So the way that you um, the way that you apply this kind of tourniquet is you pull it tight like that, and then you twist it to uh, to tighten it even more. And then you tuck in the little uh, the tightener. There's like a little lip here, and you tuck that into the side after you've tightened it up. So I think it might just be the cat tourniquet, to be honest. This, my friends, looks to be the RSH12. Okay, so as you can see, there are five um, chambers in the in the rotating cylinder thingy, Bobby. Right? I think this is the RSH12, which is the 12.7 by 55 revolver. Okay, it fires the same rounds as the Ash 12, and it actually says in the bottom right, yeah, 12.7 by 55. So there you go, confirmed. 12.7 by 55 revolver. couple of scavs like nah let's go this way okay so this is obviously lighthouse okay another nice picture of the lighthouse a nice uh, slidey door it's the first kind of uh, slidey door we've seen nice cinematic approach to the door there all right so what have we got I'm gonna go frame by frame here okay so uh, in Lightkeeper's room, we have some trophies. There's a lion, medals, and there's a plant there. And that plant looks very, very similar to the plant in the drug room, right? Yeah. Perhaps there's some sort of link between Lightkeeper and whatever those plants are doing. It's fairly clear that those plants are being used to, you know, uh, to create some sort of drug or substance. Now, what that substance is, it could well be cultist poison. This is uh, essentially a spotting telescope sort of thing. Now, I'd be really curious to see what that's looking at um, and whether or not uh, it's something that we can use as well. Okay, maybe you can walk up to it and use it and, and have a little have a little peep through the telescope. Not quite sure, but it is, of course, it is aimed in a direction. Okay, it is aimed in a direction. So when our guy comes up the stairs, he's armed here. He's armed here. But as he approaches this room, he's unarmed. That's a really good spot. That's a really good spot. Now... As you as you go through this room, either your weapon automatically unequips, or you put it down somewhere. I imagine it will probably just put the weapon on your back or something, just to stop you from trying to shoot Lightkeeper in the face. Yeah, the map looks cool. The map looks really cool. It looks exactly as I would imagine, like an urban environment would look. So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Looking forward to checking it out for real. Shame there wasn't any show of Antler Man in the trailer. Yeah, true, true, especially from what we were saying earlier. But yeah, you know, that's my uh, my rundown of the trailer. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll probably watch this trailer another couple of times just for fun. You know, as, as we get closer and closer to the release of uh, Streets Patch 13. 
which could be any minute now, really. Most likely in the morning, I would imagine. Um, I can't see a patch going live at like 11, 12 p.m., you know, uh, St. Petersburg time. Who knows? Who knows? It could be any moment. It could be any moment. Stay positive, guys, because it's going to be soon. There you have it. Patch 13 trailer. If you want to check it out for yourself, okay, the link is now in the chat. Just click on that. Uh, make sure you give it a nice big thumbs up and uh, subscribe to BSG on YouTube because you should be anyway. Um, but that is, uh, that's it. That's it, guys. That is all for, for today's stream. And of course, subscribe to OnlyFans. Of course.